April discovers that her child, her baby, doesn't have any chance of survival um, once she's born, once the baby's born, and um, the baby has a really horrible condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, where in fact his bones are breaking inside of her belly, so he's actually in pain. Um, and so she has to make the heartbreaking decision of whether to deliver early so that he won't be in pain anymore, but that goes against everything she believes, um, or pray for a miracle. I was pregnant during the um, entire pregnancy of April, and we actually shot the scene where I delivered, gave birth, and the baby died in my arms, and then I went into premature labor 10 hours later. And my baby was born three and a half weeks early, and I got to hold her for five minutes before she was taken away from me, and she was in the NICU for 11 days. So that was really, really, really traumatic. But I will say there was something about having just played a story that was more traumatic than my... I knew that my baby was going to live. I, my, my baby's life was never in danger. Um, and so in some ways, playing that storyline prepared me emotionally to weather my own trauma, which wasn't nearly as heartbreaking and as bad as my fictional one. We had the table read where I discovered that my character was pregnant, and then I pitched this story to her because this exact story happened to friends of my parents. So I knew the story well. I, it was the same condition. They made the same decision. They came from the same background that April came from and had to go through that heartbreak together. And I thought that that would be a really powerful and interesting story to tell. She loved the idea and decided to do it. And then I got pregnant two months later. <laughs> and once I got, when I got pregnant, they, um, they all, they sat me down, they said, we do not have to tell this story. We care so much more about your real pregnancy than this storyline, so you tell us what you want to do. And I decided I wanted to tell the story because I'd gotten really invested in it. And I'm really glad that I did. I mean, I, I think it made a pretty, it had an incredible impact. I got so many letters from people who've walked through similar situations. So many people have lost babies, you know, before they're born, basically, but you know, and uh, it's so sec it's a secret thing. People don't talk about it very often, or they're not validated in their grief because they don't get to know the child enough. And this gave them an opportunity to uh, have that grief validated and to be able to grieve with the story. And I'm so honored that I got to tell it.